Have you ever considered how crucial your imaginative skills are, not only in crafting compelling narratives but also in solving complex mathematical problems? The power of imagination extends far beyond the realms of fiction and fantasy. It's a vital component of our everyday lives, whether we're navigating social situations, solving problems, or simply daydreaming. It's the spark that fuels creativity and innovation, the driving force behind our most profound insights and discoveries. Now consider two specific forms of imagination, narrative and mathematical. Narrative imagination allows us to create and comprehend stories, to place ourselves in others' shoes, to envision different outcomes. On the other hand, mathematical imagination enables us to visualize abstract concepts, to see patterns and relationships, to solve problems in unique ways. Both forms of imagination, each potent in its own right, have a profound impact on how we perceive and interact with the world around us. So let's delve into the process of honing these two significant facets of imagination. Narrative imagination is your ability to create, interpret, and appreciate stories. So how can you enhance it? Let's delve into that. The first step in developing narrative imagination is reading widely. When you expose yourself to a variety of narratives, you're not just absorbing the words on the page. You're stepping into different worlds, embracing different perspectives, and understanding different experiences. Each story you read enriches your narrative imagination, giving you a vast reservoir of ideas and themes to draw upon. Next, you need to write regularly. You might be thinking, but I'm not a writer. Well, guess what? You don't have to be. Writing isn't just about penning novels or crafting award-winning articles, it's about expressing your thoughts, your emotions, your experiences. When you write, you're weaving a narrative, and each narrative you weave strengthens your narrative imagination. So pick up that pen or open up that laptop and just start writing. But reading and writing aren't enough. You also need to practice empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's the key to creating and appreciating narratives that resonate. When you empathize with a character in a story, you're not just observing their journey, you're living it, you're feeling their joy, their pain, their triumph, their defeat. And when you can do that, you can create narratives that are not only compelling but also deeply human. So there you have it. To harness your narrative imagination you need to read widely, write regularly, and practice empathy. Each of these steps contributes to enhancing your narrative imagination, allowing you to create, interpret, and appreciate stories in a richer, deeper way. Remember, narrative imagination isn't about writing the next bestseller. It's about understanding and connecting with the world around you. Shifting gears, let's talk about mathematical imagination. The ability to visualize mathematical concepts and solve problems creatively. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is mathematical imagination? It's the capacity to see the abstract, to understand the essence of mathematical concepts, and to apply them in novel ways. It's the power to transform numbers, shapes, and equations from mere symbols on a page into vibrant, living ideas that dance and play in the theater of the mind. Developing this kind of imagination isn't something that happens overnight. It's a process, a journey that begins with understanding the fundamental concepts of mathematics. That's right, we're talking about the basics like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But it goes beyond that, it's about understanding that a number is more than just a count of objects, it's a representation of a concept, an idea. Once you've grasped these fundamental concepts, the next step in this journey is visualization. This is where your imagination really starts to shine. Visualization, in the context of mathematics, is about seeing problems in your mind's eye. It's about being able to picture the problem, to see the numbers, the shapes, the equations, and how they interact with each other. Let's take the example of a simple equation. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now this might seem basic, but try to visualize it. See the number 2. Now see another number 2. Then visualize them coming together, combining into a new number. 4. This is a simple exercise, but it's the beginning of your journey towards mastering mathematical imagination. The final step in this journey is practice. Just like any other skill, mathematical imagination can be honed and improved through regular practice. This practice could be anything from solving complex mathematical problems to playing number games or engaging in activities that require mathematical thinking. So, why is all of this important? Why should you care about developing mathematical imagination? Well, because it's a powerful tool for understanding and interpreting the world. Mathematics is everywhere in the shape of the clouds, in the rhythm of the music, 
in the structure of a building. Being able to visualize and understand these mathematical concepts can help you see the world in a whole new light. But it's more than just about seeing the world, it's about problem solving. It's about being able to approach a problem, be it a mathematical one or a real world issue with creativity and flexibility. It's about being able to see the problem from different angles to find new and innovative solutions. That's the power of mathematical imagination. Just like narrative imagination, mathematical imagination can be a powerful tool for understanding and interpreting the world. You might wonder, how do narrative and mathematical imagination relate to each other? Well, let's take a moment to delve into this fascinating interplay. At first glance, they may seem like an unlikely duo. Narrative imagination, with its focus on storytelling characters and emotional resonance, seems worlds apart from the precise and logic-driven realm of mathematical imagination. But, like two sides of the same coin, these seemingly disparate forms of imagination actually complement and enhance each other in remarkable ways. Think about it. When we employ narrative imagination we're creating stories, shaping characters, and painting vivid pictures with words. It's an exercise in creativity, yes, but also in structure and order. Each story has to make sense to follow a logical progression. This is where the mathematical imagination steps in. It provides the structure, the framework upon which our stories are built. On the other hand, mathematical imagination isn't just about numbers and formulas. It's about patterns, relationships, and problem solving. And how do we often understand and communicate these complex ideas? Through stories. We give context to numbers, breathe life into abstract concepts and make the intangible tangible. This is where the narrative imagination shines, lending color and context to the cold precision of mathematics. Together, narrative and mathematical imagination form a symbiotic relationship, each feeding off and fueling the other. They help us to see the world in different ways, to approach problems from multiple angles, and to find solutions that might otherwise remain hidden. They teach us to be logical and creative, precise and imaginative, structured and free-flowing. So, when you're crafting a story, don't forget about the numbers. And when you're working out a math problem, remember the power of a good narrative. It's this interplay, this dance between narrative and mathematical imagination that fosters creativity and problem-solving skills. Thus, these two forms of imagination, while seeming distinct, actually work in tandem to enhance your overall cognitive abilities. In this enlightening journey, we have explored the paths to harness narrative and mathematical imagination. We've embarked on a voyage of discovery, delving deep into the realms of the mind, where stories are spun and equations are unraveled. Let's take a moment to revisit and underscore the key points we've covered. We started by acknowledging the immense power of imagination, a force that's not just about daydreams and fantasy, but a crucial factor in our cognitive development, our ability to comprehend the world, and our capacity to innovate. We learned that imagination is the root of creativity, problem-solving, and empathy. Turning the spotlight on narrative imagination, we explored how it enables us to conceive and articulate stories to weave together events and characters into coherent, meaningful narratives. We examined how it fosters empathy, as it allows us to step into others' shoes, experiencing their emotions and perspectives. We discussed how narrative imagination can be developed, stressing the importance of reading, writing, and active listening. Next, we journeyed into the world of mathematical imagination, a realm where numbers and equations come alive. We touched on how it allows us to visualize abstract mathematical concepts, to solve complex problems, and to perceive patterns and structures. We highlighted the necessity of practice, curiosity, and openness to mistakes in cultivating this form of imagination. Then, we ventured into the fascinating interplay of narrative and mathematical imagination, demonstrating how they complement and enhance each other. We saw how storytelling can simplify complex mathematical concepts and how mathematical structures can enrich narratives. We emphasize that harnessing both forms of imagination can lead to a balanced, holistic understanding of the world. To wrap up, it's essential to understand that developing both narrative and mathematical imagination is not a luxury, but a necessity in our rapidly evolving world. These skills are the keys to unlocking creativity, empathy, problem-solving abilities and a deeper understanding of our complex reality. Remember, the world is your canvas, and these imaginative skills are your brushes, so paint your own unique picture. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.